in this video we are diving into the top 10 moments from the series never do this in scratch it's amazing to think that third episode alone has hit over a million views thank you so much to everyone who watched it and i never imagined this single video would grow into an entire series so without further ado let's jump into the best moments from the never do this in scratch starting off at number 10 we have the infamous clone glitch from episode 1 this glitch is pretty well known in the Scratch community, it's even there in the wiki, but it can still catch you by surprise with how simple yet destructive it is. All you need to do is to drag the three clone blocks and connect them. That's it. Once you click this connector block, Scratch freezes instantly. No delay, nothing. And if you haven't saved your project, there's just no way to recover it. The entire editor starts to lag, you can't click, you can't scroll anything, and even the mouse pointer gets stuck in this grab hand thing. And the only solution? Closing scratch and reloading it. Next at number 9, we have the person glitch from episode 4. If you create a custom block and rename it to just the person sign, you'll notice that the OK button becomes unclickable. Then you have to remove the person sign and then hit OK. And once you click OK, all your blocks on the left side will completely disappear. And here's where the fun part starts. If you now try to drag the defined block that name area where usually you see the block's name completely detaches from the custom block itself and start moving away from you. That's just crazy. You can still connect blocks but the defined block just keep moving away from you every time you drag it. And the more you drag, the more away it goes. And it's really really hilarious to watch. Really really funny glitch. I still love it. At number 8, we have another tricky situation involving custom block. This is something many of you might have done without even realizing it. We all know about the option to tick whether a custom block should run without screen refresh. Normally Scratch updates the stage and the sprites after each block of code runs. However, when you enable run without screen refresh for a custom block, Scratch will execute all the code in that block as quickly as possible without even updating the stage or sprites until the entire block has finished running. Now here's where things can take a turn for the worse. If you include a forever block inside that custom block, the entire Scratch UI will start lagging like crazy. It becomes really, really, really so. Just look at how much it drags. And don't worry, this lag would eventually lead to a crash because Scratch would run out of memory. Next at number 7, we have something involving our good old friend, the square. If you type person 15 in the Scratch search bar, it brings up this mysterious square character. Now if you copy that character and start renaming every costume and sound within and then add it to the costume editor using a text box, things just start to break really hard. The costume editor immediately breaks, the grids disappear and every action you try to perform doesn't work, it just breaks. If you try to draw a shape, it will stick to your cursor, just keep following you. If you attempt to raise something, it won't do it properly, you can't add text, sort of and selecting object becomes a nightmare the whole editor turns into a chaotic mess and to top it all off if you click convert to big map the entire editor just breaks down wow that's deadly next and number six is probably the most random process i've seen in this entire series it involves a series of seemingly random action that somehow end up breaking scratch here's how it goes first you set the sprite to be draggable in a forever loop then you add some sounds to the backdrop and a sound to your sprite as well. Go full screen, drag your sprite around, minimize the screen and then delete the sounds in your sprite. After that, click back on backdrops, go full screen again, drag the sprite one more time and wall up your broken scratch. Yeah, I still can't wrap my head around why scratch crashes on this but it's such a random sequence of actions. Again, this has to be the most random crash in the whole series. Next at number 5 is one of the deadliest glitches in Scratch, the black slash B glitch. If you type black slash B anywhere in your code, save the file and then try to reload it, you can't. It's completely locked out. This happens because backslash B actually represents a backspace so it delays the character before it and corrupts the entire Scratch save file which is just crazy. But don't worry, there's a way to fix this and it's with our good old buddy, Toboa. For some reason, you can open the project in Toboa without any issue, even though you can't in Vanilla Scratch. Once in Toboa, you can rename this character, save the project, and then you'll have no problem opening the original file back in Scratch. 
If some scratches can fix issues like this, it's hard to understand why the scratch team hasn't addressed it yet. Coming at number 4 is another one of the weirdest glitches in scratch and it's surprisingly simple to trigger. All you need to do is open the backdrop library, select the waste backdrop, click on backdrops and then convert it to bitmap and then convert it back to vector. And just like that, you've broken scratch using nothing but the inbuilt backdrops and functions. And the waste backdrop just won't stay in bitmap. If you convert the backdrop into bitmap, then switch to a different tab and come back again, it reverts to its original vector form. So I'm sure this has to do something with how scratch handle conversion between bitmap and vector. But hey, this has been for over six years and it hasn't been fixed yet. Coming up at number three is the infamous red hat block from episode two, the mascot of scratch hat block. So, how do you get it? First, search person 15 in the scratch search bar to find that square character. Create a new custom block, paste that character into the block's name, and click OK. And voila, you got the hat red block. This red block is notorious because it appears with no custom block name, and you can't even connect any blocks to it. It's just essentially a broken custom defined block. And if you enable the cap blocks extension from scratch add-on, it just makes things even more amazing. Nice. And at number two, we have another glitch involving the person 15 square character, but this time with variables. Here's how it works. Copy the person 15 character and create a new variable with it. The first thing you'll notice is that the newly created variable has no name and the variable controls are missing. Here's where it gets really wild. If you switch from one sprite to another, every single piece of code you had disappears. Completely gone. Not a single one is there. It's as if all was wiped out. The code doesn't actually vanish though, but becomes sort of invisible. If you try to run the project, it still attempts to execute it but fails to do so properly because the file is essentially corrupted. If you want to break an entire project, this is probably the most easiest way to do so. Finally, at number one, we have the most notorious and chaotic scratch glitch, the cursed text-to-speech glitch. You probably saw this coming, especially since it's from the episode that hit over a million views, and I'm sure this is the reason for it. Here's how it works. Set up a forever broadcast message, and when the message is received, use the text-to-speech extension to say something. And trust me, this result is incredibly loud and irritating, almost unbearable. Let's try stopping it. Okay. Even if you try to hit the stop button, the code keeps running and the noise just won't stop. It's both the best and worst glitch in the Scratch series, showing how a simple feature can break into complete chaos. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably enjoying the content, so make sure you give this video a like and subscribe and check out all the other episodes. There are so many more ways to break Scratch that you won't want to miss. Until next time, see you in the next video.